In the data file, we have a variable set up for each of the four types of media. These variables have been used to indicate whether or not each participant consumed each type of media in the previous 24 hours. Now, if we swap to the data view, I can see that participant number one consumed television news and also radio news in the 24 hours prior to being polled, whereas participant two consumed TV news, newspapers, and radio, and so on. So in the Analyze menu, select Non-Parametric Tests. Now there are two ways that we can run a Cochrane's Q test. Firstly, we can use the legacy dialogues, and in this case, the relevant option is K-related samples, which is just off the bottom of the screen. Or we can use the new Non-Parametric Model Builder. I'm going to use the latter because it will give me the option of outputting follow-up pairwise comparisons in addition to the Omnibus Q test. So select Related Samples, and then in the Fields tab, select the four levels of the independent variable and move them into the Test Fields list. Now it's important here that the data type has been correctly specified as nominal in the Data Editor's Variable view. Now under the Settings tab, you can leave the default as automatically choose the tests based on data and a Cochrane's Q test will be produced. But I think it's better practice to know exactly what you're running before you actually run it. So I'm going to select Customize Tests and then I'm going to tick Cochrane's Q. And under Multiple Comparisons, we can leave the default as all pairwise selected. So if you click Run, your output will appear in the viewer.